So for anyone who wants to run a Google Home on a 12 volt system, be it on a canal barge, boat, van, DC voltage supply from solar in a shed, I don't know, somewhere anyway. Anyway, we're in my shed, uh, I've got 240 volts, but a friend of mine asked to run a Google Home in his barge, uh, a live on, and when he's not hooked up, he doesn't really want to run an inverter, 240 volts, it's really inefficient. So the uh, power supply from a Google Home, it looks like this, uh, is designed to run um, 240 volt. It's a 16.5 amp, 2 amp, 16.5 volt, 2 amp power supply. Can't really get that in focus, but it does say down here. So I've hooked it up to a 12 volt DC power supply. This is a cheap um, DC DC voltage converter, capable of taking input voltage of from about 5 volts and bumping it up to 32 volts variable. The amount of ampage it can supply depends on the input voltage and the output voltage, uh, obviously. And here is a little screw, so it's an analog kind of setting to just set the voltage output. So stick a multimeter on the end of it, trusty old old multimeter. Get it to 16.5 volts for your desired input voltage. Now, something to be careful about, I'll just pause here. 12 volts, when an alternator is running on a boat or in a car or in a van, could push it up to 14.4 volts or thereabouts I believe when the battery's on charge unless you have a voltage regulator in line so we might need to put a voltage regulator on this lead which will go to the 12 volt system on a boat uh, I'm not too sure about that we'll have to look so I know at the moment that this is outputting 16.5 volts it doesn't seem to dip much either the home is quite happy with the supply uh, this is currently on standby, connected to wireless on 5 gigahertz. It's draw 0.18 amps, 9 amps, a bit less than it was earlier actually. And that's because it's actually playing still. Sorry, so hey Google, stop the music. There we go. So what's it going to drop down to? I'm sure I saw it a bit lower earlier. Anyway, there we go. Uh, not a lot. So that's in standby. Obviously, it's listening though. Hey Google, play some music. Playing some music on Spotify. Okay, so bit of a pause. My wireless out here is a bit flaky. It's on five. Is it? No. What's interesting to me is that on standby it was drawing 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.15 amps. So I've got a real bad cold at the moment. This seems to be drawing 0.2 amps, which is a very small amount. Connected to wireless, 5 gigahertz, stream from Spotify. That that amazes me really. So if we crank it up a bit. I'll tell you what, let's do it. Hey Google, volume five, please. Hey Google, volume five. Okay. There we go. So um Hey Google, skip this track. Okay, so no idea what's playing, but we've got 0 0.2 amps draw at 12 volts. I'm going to crank it up to full volume now and we'll see what it draws. Not bad. So yeah, that's it. So all I've got to do now is wire this little beastie up uh, using some plugs. I'm just going to that. Hey Google, stop the music. I'm going to wire it up using some really simple plugs, so we can change from a 240 volt supply on the power supply plug it straight into the home or unplug and plug in the extra lead which I'll provide going to a cigarette light socket or or maybe just some bare wires I need to have a chat with my uh, good friend that I'm putting this together for. But initial tests seem positive. I need to do a sort of a soak test, a long test at high volume on this which I'll do in the house late, uh, maybe tomorrow. Leave it going along for half an hour, check the temperatures on this. Uh, it should be within spec easily. The DC DC voltage conversion we're running, um, the spec sheet says it can do almost three amps well that's, that's massive and we're not even drawing an amp at any point I think the highest I saw was 0.8 and that was 
with some some beats coming out of here pretty bloody loudly so hopefully all good uh mike hope you enjoy it let me know how it goes on <laughs>